Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel, everyone. I am going to go right into the extended for you. I'm not going to waste any time. Blessings to all of you all for joining me in the extended. I hope everybody is doing well and warm. It's not that cold where I am, but it is getting there. It is getting, it's in the 30s, <laughs> you guys. What temperature is it where you guys are? Drop a like. If you are in the building, drop a like, you guys. It helps the channel be seen by others. All right. So do that for me if you would, please. And thank you. Let's go ahead and get started. I just wanted to uh, go right into it. You guys want to start clarifying here. So let's go ahead and pull a little bit of Oracle first and then we'll go right into clarifying. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us about cancer, please. Tell us about cancer, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What does cancer need to know today, please? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us what cancer needs to know today, please. What does cancer need to know today, please? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us what cancer needs to know today, please. We have a new moon coming in soon, you guys, for you. And it is in cancer, you guys. Cancer. So let's go ahead and um, get this popping, you guys. So we have a time for healing, balsamic moon balsamic moon so definitely uh, someone who's healing after a broken heart here someone is healing I think of balsamic moon I think of you know putting on something like a I think of the word balm or just something that heal or soothe the situation okay um, all tied up. Number 23, Cancers. Number 23 is in heavy for me. I've been seeing 23, 32, 2s, 3s, 2, 2, 2, all 3s, 6s, 3, 6, 9, 6, 3. It's been all week. All tied up. So an energy of someone who is um, in a situation where they're, uh, they feel like they're stuck in a situation or um, like they are trapped or can't go anywhere or almost like they don't want someone to go anywhere, Cancer. So again, all tied up. I feel like this person is trying to keep you tied up. Say yes to your open door, Cancer. <coughs> can't make this more clear. The door is open. Say yes and walk through it. I feel like you are definitely walking through that open door. You are moving on, Cancer. Peaceful resolution. Peaceful resolution. Um, and I do see the peaceful resolution on the other side of the door, Cancer. That's the thing. Um back to what you love re-evaluate your desires cancer so you have been putting your energy and your time and your heart space in areas that are not what you truly truly desire to be doing so why are you wasting your time the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe see so it's like you know cancer and your soul tribe is coming together to formulate so that they can get this message out to you these are all your ancestors that are they look 
they are tribing up here, Cancer. It's like squad, squad, squad up, squad where, squad who? I mean, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve angels in this, this uh, oracle card here, Cancer. Which again, adds up to three. And they are calling for you to move it, move it, Cancer. So, karma... Karma, karma, and cancer. This has to be justice. This has to be justice. Let's see. It's either justice or it is judgment. It is judgment, cancer. This is judgment. Her hair is like fire here. Yes, judgment here. Raining down. So somebody is awakening. Somebody is evaluating and looking at self and evaluating what can they do? What can they do, Cancer? Not worry about what the other person, but what can they do better? And look, you have the hanged man here. So rather than hanging around in a situation that is no longer for you, it's time to pick up your feet. Mm. Wow. Well, the Oracle is definitely giving that message here, the very same message here, Cancer, that we were getting with the Tarot. Um, let's go ahead, give it a quick little shuffle, and then we'll clarify. Tell us about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us about Cancer. Ooh, look at that. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about the answer, please. Whoa. Okay. Tell us about cancer. Holy Spirit. That's why I don't like shuffling on top of my cards. Angels and guides, tell us about cancer, please. Tell us about cancer. Let's clarify this three of swords, please. Tell me about the three of swords for cancer. And we have the six of wands. Didn't I tell you this was an ego situation? Somebody was definitely um, having an ego moment here, cancer. Um and someone was looking to, somebody was looking to win or to win a situ, in a situation and they ended up hurting you. And we have the King of Cups here under the deck. <coughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. It's like this person was being distant but they were trying to win something or trying to be victorious or they were looking to have some sort of um, they wanted some sort of reward cancer for okay you know what it's like somebody wanted, wanted to be rewarded cancer because they were saying they were devoted to you, yet this person was very cold and distant to you. It's like this person would definitely had a major ego issue, cancer. Major ego issue. Tell us about this three of wands, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about the three of wands for cancer. And we have the ace of cups, cancer. You're moving on to something new. You're moving on to something new, cancer, with the magician. You are moving on to manifest something for yourself. And you want to manifest something new 
for yourself, Cancer. You're moving away from this situation, Cancer, where you got hurt. Tell me about the Six of Swords. And you're going to be doing it rather quickly. I feel like this person is not going to expect this. They thought you would always be there with the Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Swords. And you have the Two of Pentacles, Cancer. Underneath the deck, the Page of Cups. See what I mean? This person, like I said, again, this person is trying to stop you with this apology. And again, you have the Eight of Wands and the Page of Cups here. This person is trying to come in to keep you from leaving, Cancer. Oh, there it is, Cancer, the Four of Wands. This is the apology. This person is going to try to offer some higher level of commitment. But it's not real, Cancer. Tell me about the Nine of Wands, please. They thought you would always be there, Cancer. And look, you have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And look, this talks about reaping what you sow, Cancer. This talks about this person running into a stroke of bad luck. It's no it's no longer what, what it used to be. Seven of Swords underneath the deck, Cancer. This person betrayed you. They thought that it would be all good and they could, you know, just be up to their same old, same old Cancer with the Five of Swords. And you're like, what? Tell me about this Five of Swords, please. Like this person really thought that they could just kind of betray you behind your back and get away with it, Cancer. And you have the Knight of Wands. See what I mean? This is an energy of somebody who does what they want to do and, you know, thinks that they can just get what they want, Cancer. They just do whatever they want to do. Underneath the deck, there you go. This is the Empress here. And here is that Eight of Wands, Cancer. So this talks about someone moving very quickly towards their abundance, Cancer. Um, because they see their abundance moving very quickly in a different direction. This is you. This is Cancerian energy, Cancer, right here with this Empress here. And I feel like this is also with this Knight of Wands, Cancer, you are moving away from this energy of this person putting you in this five of swords energy putting playing mind games with you like you're done with this and you have the nine of swords cancer see what i mean this is that change in the different this is that change and i'm was going to clarify the eight of wands here but cancer like you are done with this person four of pentacles underneath the deck this is you you're starting to hold back cancer you're starting to pull back from this person but they're coming with an apology tell me about this page of cups tell me and you have the high priestess you are not going to be responding to this person with justice underneath the deck cancer this talks about karma this talks about karma cause and effect okay what goes around comes around okay um and when this person comes in to apologize here with this high priestess and the eight of pentacles at the end cancer like i said you're going to be focused on you tell me about this three of cups please tell me about this three of cups this talks about somebody out having a good time cancer and with the five of cups here Three of Cups, Five of Cups, Cancer, that's Eight Cups. That is Eight Cups, Cancer. There, you are no longer in this energy where you are happy in this connection. You are no longer happy in this connection, Cancer. With the Ten of Swords, you are on your way out the door. Knight of Cups underneath the deck. I feel like there's an energy of you being sorry that you even flirted with this person being sorry that you even had a connection that you were even you know went any further than being friends with this person because I feel like that's the way it started off and I feel like it went further um tell me about this ten of swords please oh and you have the Eight of Pentacles, Cancer. See, you are moving on and you are moving 
towards working on yourself with the six of cups underneath the deck cancer hmm and the knight of pentacles here in the background this is an energy of someone from the past moving towards you or someone coming back and wanting to reconcile with you and i feel like this is this person um cancer tell me about the high priestess please and the eight of pentacles i feel like you are not going to say a word when this person comes back in because you're going to be too busy focused on yourself tell me okay and look the nine of pentacles cancer what did i tell you this talks about being independent taking care of yourself doing just fine with the four of cups what did i tell you you are not going to be responding to this person you are not paying attention to this cup being offered you're focused on the three cups down here so cancer yes that is that energy you're in the energy of out having a good time with friends and with your family you are done with that energy of trying to be in a relationship with someone who is not in that same energy with you what did i tell you and look at underneath the deck cancer the chariot in the background here you are moving on sis brothers collective you guys are moving on and doing what is best for you what a beautiful 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 reading and um again um being very generous to my crew on part two making this available to the public i will be posting this on tomorrow i love you guys so much take care have a good night and i will see you back here soon bye